We timed our visit to Hazard just right. In the heart of the Appalachian coal fields in eastern Kentucky, the mountains that surround Hazard were filled with beautiful fall color. Sunshine was abundant for me to walk the bustling downtown streets and take in a few of the favorite stops. To start, I thought I'd better visit City Hall and speak with Mayor Nan Gorman. Hello, Amy. Hi, Mayor Nan. Welcome to Hazard. Thank you so and much. welcome KET. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Nan, for having me here at City Hall. I'm looking in your office and you have quite a view out your window here. I love that view because that's where my husband looked out every day when he sat here. Well, tell me about your husband. He's really a beloved figure here in Hazard. He certainly is. Because he did so much and his heart was in it, he was passionate about Hazard, Perry County, and Eastern Kentucky. Bill Gorman was mayor of Hazard from 1978 until his death in 2010. 32 years. He was credited with countless community improvement projects, supporting education, operating Eastern Kentucky's first commercial television station, and multiple other economic development projects. He hosted numerous national politicians during visits to Eastern Kentucky, including Robert Kennedy, Jesse Jackson, President Bill Clinton, and others. Following Bill's death, Nan was sworn in as interim mayor and later won election to succeed him officially. She very aptly picked up where Bill left off. Today we have plans for things to make it interesting for ourselves and tourists. We're planning a river walk, an artisan center on Main Street. We hope to have um, art classes, music classes, more theatrical productions. And you have a beautiful amphitheater out here where I'm We sure. do, and it's busy all year long. The arts have always been close to Mayor Gorman's heart. In fact, she is a gifted artist herself. Nan was the first artist employed full-time by the state of Kentucky, even designing the state seal that is still in use today. Well, thank you so much. I'm hoping maybe you can give me a tour around City Hall. I would love to. When we visited, Mayor Gorman was preparing to leave office at the end of 2014. I'd heard a lot about the Treehouse Cafe on Main Street and what owner Jen Noble was doing to promote Hazard's local art and food movement. So I stopped in to say hello. So Jen, this is such a cute little spot here on Main Street. It's pretty hip. Yes, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty popular. It's taken a while to get popular, but now people are starting to come around. Absolutely. Well, I know when I talked to people about coming to Hazard, they all said, you have to go to Treehouse. Like, yeah. it's awesome. Tell me about some of the things you guys do here. Not only is our food top quality, all natural food, so it's a healthier alternative. Nothing's fried. Uh, we do have the cupcakes, though, so that's, uh, that's our treat. Our most popular is anything with bacon on it, surprisingly. Wow, that's great. Well, and tell me about just being in Hazard and just being a part of the community. Hazard is very important to me. After, after high school, I moved away, went to college. I wanted to be an artist. Uh, that's what I thought I was going to be. So I went away and I painted for five years in college. And then I just decided I wanted to come back home. Um, even though there was nothing here, it seemed for an artist. Uh, I thought, well, it has to begin, you know, with somebody, with somebody doing something different. So we have uh, a monthly poet series, um, and that's really successful. We have uh, artwork from local artists on the wall that we sell. We have um, music just about every weekend, and we have everything from bluegrass to uh, heavy metal. So anything to keep uh, keep it local. And you've got young people who I know kind of see this as a hit place to come and maybe hear poetry, but then you've got business lunches happening here too. Right. Well, the community is certainly supporting you now. Yes, and yeah, they are. And you're quite popular, so it must feel pretty good to... Yeah. More than anything, I just hope to inspire other people to do other things and bring to Hazard instead of moving away. Another special attraction in Hazard is the Challenger Learning Center of Kentucky. This unique facility, one of only 47 in the country, uses space exploration as a tool to excite and inspire students in science, mathematics, and technology. Director Tom Cravens led me on a tour of the facilities. This is really amazing. I mean, this is quite large. I had no idea something like this existed in Hazard. Right, most rural communities, small communities like this, you wouldn't think about seeing something like the Challenger Learning Center there. The families of the Challenger astronauts were the ones that started the concept of Challenger Learning Centers. 
uh, and that was all brought about by the uh, Space Shuttle Challenger disaster where we let, lost six astronauts plus teacher Kristen McAuliffe. So the family members felt like something positive needed to be done from that tragedy. And so the first Challenger Learning Center opened in 1988 in Houston. And then the Challenger Center here in Hazard opened in 1999. Visitors can get hands-on with all kinds of activities, including a special exhibit relating coal mining to space exploration. A blast for kids and adults alike. Now we're moving. Before heading home, I wanted to visit the Bobby Davis Museum and Park. This beautiful park and local history museum is a must-see for anyone visiting Hazard. Museum director Martha Quigley showed me around. Martha, this is such a cute museum here. I mean, there are all kinds of fascinating things that you can find. Thank you very much. Um, we've uh, started collecting the very first day it opened. Uh, people were interested. I think that sort of uh, echoes the type of community we have. All you had to do was put the word out and they were interested, they wanted a museum and they started bringing their own possessions and donating them to the museum. Bobby Davis was tragically killed in 1945 at the end of World War II. The museum serves as a living memorial to him and all the other young men who died during that conflict. Today, the museum houses a library and archives, offers books, items relevant to local history, and artwork for sale. I spent a wonderful day visiting Hazard, a place made special by the people and unique stories they have to share. I'm sure I'll be back soon.